Hello everybody, this is Havoc, and welcome to Old World. This is a 4x, uh, you could call it grand strategy in many ways, but it mixes a good deal of RPG in it too. This is a fantastic game, and I've been playing offline uh, for a decent bit, and I was like, you know what, I think I'm ready to dive back in and make an official series out of this, because I'm just, I'm honestly having that much fun with the game. Now, I do want to say first, and right off the bat, that I am associated with Hooded Horse, that is Old World's publisher. There is a video in the description uh, that you can totally check out to understand what that means, but I just wanted to make that well and fully known right at the start. But yeah, Old World is fantastic, and with its Wonders and Dynasties DLC that came out in January, it actually expands the leaders of all of these nations across the board to the point where we have like seven options as rome uh, five options as babylon's um as babylonia as egypt we have a whole range of things but i want to dig with rome because they are a little more military focused and i'm not gonna lie it's a lot of fun to play and while i did play as like romulus and i think i played as uh scipio the other day i really really want to go with my main man caesar and the reason for that is going to be fully laid out here. So to start out with for Rome, all cities get two training per turn. That's going to be useful in upgrading our soldiers and promoting them. Uh, so that's going to be useful just right off the bat. Every city gets plus two, turn, two uh, training per turn. We start with some great techs of ironworking, stoneworking, and polis. That's going to allow us to do a lot of things to really enhance our military again. So, for instance, we unlock a warrior unit right off the bat. That's pretty daggum important for us because we can then upgrade those to axemen or spearmen. And then down here, we can eventually get Hastatus and legionaries. We get some great shrines if we get the technology to use it. And then our dynasties are also really, really great. Not to mention, we have some awesome families to choose from. So the Romans just are really, really great. But Caesar in particular... He's an expansionist commander, so as a leader, all cities get uh, XP for every infantry unit across all the units, which is awesome. And then we also get plus 20 training per tribal military unit killed. So tribes are part of the game, and that's basically going to be, hey, we're going to go to war with every single one of them because that's just what we need to do. Uh, and then he's also a commander. So if we make him a general, which we can, as a general, we get plus 20% attack and defense strength if the same unit is adjacent to us. So that means whether it be two warriors, two slingers, whatever, uh, we have them side by side, they get a buff. And then also, as a general, if uh, he is the leader, we get 100% attack damage if we are flanking. So that's kind of like uh, kind of like in humankind, where you got a flanking bonus by being directly across, like two units um, have one in between them, which is really great. And then as a leader, we get 10 XP per turn for idle units. And then plus 10% uh, shield strength. So there's just a lot of stuff going for him. Uh, we have great things overall that make him really, really useful. But mind you, this expansionist commander is unique to, uh, to Caesar. So we only have a limited time to use him. And as such, we basically want to build up our military as quickly as possible. So we can get as many of these guys as possible and work on it there. Now, in terms of our map settings, we're going to keep things at the strong. That's kind of just like you're just above normal or right in between. That's basically just where I'm comfortable being. That's just how I want to play. And nothing too crazy there. There's really nothing else that we need to look at outside of just saying, hey, we're going to be we're going to be rocking and rolling with tribal units for sure. Uh, in fact, we could probably do tribes only just for kicks and giggles. There we go. That's about it, though. Let's see if we can't dive into this game. All right, it's no secret that you, King Caesar the Founder, control Rome, a new political alliance with Prince Consort Pompeius. A powerful yet unsteady ally has been sealed through the marriage of your daughter, Princess Julia. Now your focus is turned to new frontiers. To sustain support and to keep powers from the Senate, you'll need to expand the borders of Rome to gain riches and the loyalty of your troops. Rome looks to you. Go see and conquer. Now, one of the unique things about Old World is, for one, we can only settle on city sites. So this isn't like a civilization where you can go anywhere you want to. We are very limited in where we can establish. But this is a flippin' flappin' superb setup. So, for instance, if we move here, we'll be able to get cattle, which requires pastures. We could get gems. We could get gold. 
Both of these are from mines, so we could get this right off the bat. And eventually we could get horses in here. So that is massive. In fact, pasture, um, we need husbandry if we can get it right off the bat. Okay, but here. Oh, and we also have another set of horses. So we're going to found it right here, which means our starting borders are going to encompass all of those. Amazing start. Um, and then in terms of the family, we can choose what family to found the city in and we'll get those buffs. Now we do have a families kind of here. Once we establish it, we do have to maintain relations or potential negative events could happen because each of these characters does exist in their own space. They will evolve. I guess you could say in a lot of ways like Crusader Kings 3, you do certain decisions that could affect different traits they could get. It's a really, really fun system. Uh, but anyways, we have Fabius, which means we get even more training per year. You can see we're already at plus 25. City defenses, new units start with Steadfast. Steadfast means they get uh, attack and defense damage versus tribal units. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do that, just so you know, because that's super good. But in this case, minus 50% rural specialist production time is also good. Farms get us a lot. Mm -hmm. We may actually end up going with Claudius. Valencius... Uh, Valerius, excuse me, adds luxury four years per precious resource. Is this a precious resource? Oh, it is. We have two precious resources here. So if we went with Valerius, we would get four culture per year per precious resource. So that's eight per year, which means that in 13 turns, we would have a leveled up city culturally, which gets us more points. Ooh, oh my word. This is, this is going to be really, really hard. Specialist goods cost. Okay, we don't really care about that. So... That's super awesome. That makes us really, really powerful. But we don't have another place so far that has all these precious resources. So we're going to do that. Or, yeah, we're going to have to do that. We're going to found it with Valerius. There we go. We're now Caesar the Ambitious. Now, legitimacy is what we need in order to uh, increase our orders. We'll get to there in a second. New court minister Camilla, or Camilla has joined the court. Her aptitude in matters of state will keep Rome moving forward. Okay. Well, welcome. All right, and so here is, let's, uh, we can only choose one. This is kind of like a randomized card system. Let's view the tech tree and see what trapping does. Okay, trapping would eventually get us steel and a composite bow. But divination would get us down to aristocracy, which is what we could also really use. Plus it gets access to all the shrines, which we really, really need the shrines. Administration would be awesome as well, which leads to rhetoric. We're gonna have to go with divination. We're going to go with divination. Now, the cool thing about this, though, is that uh, if we were to go with this, uh, let's go with the detail tree. I picked divination, but now basically the next time once this gets through, I have the potential to get trapping, administration, aristocracy, forestry, drama, husbandry, or labor force. So it's a it's a randomized car system, and there's no guarantee that I would get husbandry as a poll in the next turn. And to be quite frank, if I had to choose between husbandry or forestry, I'd go with forestry. So it's kind of like a randomized thing. It's not your traditional tech tree, which is also uh, kind of fun. I actually really enjoy it. Now, what we need to do here, we have orders. Our orders are determined by our traits as well as our legitimacy level. So we get one order per 10 legitimacy. You can see there we have 2.4 legitimacy going forward. Now, every time we do something, it uses up an order and we need to be mindful of that. So in this case, if I wanted to go over to here to say make a farm, then that took two orders or one order, and this will take another order. So while it is limiting, it's not limiting in a negative way, in my opinion, because it's basically helping you to strategize, work on building up your legitimacy, as well as doing other things to kind of be more, more mindful of your, of your things. But now an emissary from the Vandals was escorted to our capital by a surprisingly well-disciplined formation of soldiers who put on an elaborate show of military coordination outside the gate. Well, he makes no threats. The implication is clear. They have a powerful force. Uh, no, uh, the battle will be epic, 100%. Remember, we get a buff against these guys, and we get lots of benefits for fighting them. So we gain six legitimacy because we were unafraid of tribes, and the Vandals declare war. Boom. All right. So now we have three we have three legitimacy or three orders from legitimacy. However, while the improvement, that's what this is, is running, it sucks away one. So we still have minus 11 or plus 11. It's all good. We're going to go here. We can also harvest, uh, which will give us 10, um, 10 of the things, 10 food, excuse me. And we'll be good. We can harvest different resources. 
you can see here what those would benefit us. Sometimes if it's uh, an, a, like a resource resource, so say like, I don't know, gems or something, we would probably be able to pillage for gold, things of that nature, so we can do that. We also have an ancient ruin here, which functions very similarly to the way it does in civilization. Anyways, I did choose my research. I want to choose divination. There's nothing we can do right here. I guess we could manage our luxuries. We can't manage them now because we have no luxuries. Oh, I see. Uh, we can manage the cities. Yeah, we would give it to... We're going to send literature to Rome. Yeah, absolutely. It consumes two. We don't have enough available. That's fine. Turns are always incredibly fast at the beginning of the game because we have the ability to... Uh, there's really no one else around. And so we're going to go down here. Our troops are approached by weary raiders who have been roaming the forest aimlessly. They wish to fight for a worthy cause with us. Labor is a worthy cause. So we would get two citizens that we can use for like specialists. We could use help against the vandals. I don't want to become deceitful. I don't feel like that's good. So we're going to use their help. We're going to pay 55 for a free warrior. Uh, heck yes. Yes, we will very much do that. Uh, and then we're going to bring our soldier here. It only takes 10 to promote him. And this is what I mean. We really want to promote him as much as possible. Uh, we are going to go with combat one. And then in the next turn, actually, we don't have to wait for the next turn. We can go here. We're going to add Julius Caesar or King Caesar the Ambitious. Because remember, these are both warriors. We get uh, strength and attack, attack and defense strength uh, with the same units. And then if he's flanking. So we're definitely going to do that. So now we have our general, which is great. And we can still continue moving. And so this is what I mean. For instance, here. I can harvest the wine and it will give me 10 culture in Roma. That's going to be super duper crucial. Absolutely crucial because the higher we get here, the more things we can do. Uh, we can do certain actions or we can recruit certain troops and things of that nature. So it's really, really good. We can also bring in a uh, governor and it looks like our daughter actually has the best benefits for us. She gives us some good pop growth. Some good civics, which we'll eventually use to enact laws. And then she brings in some money as well. Oh, we don't have enough orders. Okay, that's 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 definitely something. Let's go ahead and harvest that wine. So now we boost the uh, the culture of our city. And there's nothing else we can do. Wife's given birth to a daughter, Duchess Fulvia. Awesome. She is now second in line to the throne. And now originally bought for money, the mercenaries have proved themselves loyal and staunch fighters. Thought occurs, it could be useful to have a unit of bodyguards that are not loyal to the noble families have no interest in politics. Ooh, what? So they're renamed the Numerous Batavorum. Yeah, loyal only to my dynasty. That's great. That's super cool. All right. Um. Well, wait, no, 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 no. Here, we'll do this. Okay, cool. So that still works. Uh, unfortunately, it does waste a turn. So we could still get up here. I don't know if I'm, we'll promote him instead. Let's do, ooh, that's actually really good. Amphibious gives 50% attack strength across the river because that actually is a, 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 a negative. Guard two would be awesome. We're going to go with am Amphibious. There we go. So you can see we still have a good amount of training. We're making a lot anyways, but uh, this is we're already started with some great... Uh, we're basically building super soldiers. We're going to get Princess Julia in here. She has the, the best benefits for us across the board. What else was I wanting to do? That's right, luxuries. We're going to put this in Roma. There we go. So now Roma has its own luxury, which is literature. And it's we're going to slowly start decreasing the discontent here. So we can be uh, a lot a lot happier. A lot happier. That's really good. We're going to go here again. We're going to harvest as much incense as we can. Really, really want to boost up the culture levels of our troops over here. Uh, of our city, excuse me. All right, our first improvement is done. We now have a positive in terms of our food rate, which is always a good thing. We need a mine. Let's see. We would get them, oh, that's right. We do, we need to make these mines over here. Even though they don't give us the benefits of iron, we're still gonna get a massive amount of uh, of growth as well as, as money, so that's good. All right, onto the vandals. There we go, brilliant. Yeah, they don't really stand a chance against us whatsoever. We, got so, we have so many bonuses and buffs against those guys. So they'll go out in the next turn, which is fantastico. And we're gonna keep exploring because if you'll notice, over here in Rome, we're building a settler. Now remember, cities need city sites. And this is a great place as well. This is a super great place because we're going to be able to nab the barleys, which we can improve down the road. We have honey, we have camels, and maybe, just maybe, 
we might be able to reach out to those incense and get even more buffs overall. This is a fantastic start for Rome. I am incredibly excited for us. So it's really cute. They tried to attack me and it did a little bit of damage. I mean, we have some damage for sure, but it's not going to be enough. And we're going to be able to take these guys out. Our soldiers take the local Vandal chief captive and they force him uh, before the throne in fetters. Head hell high. He asks the court to show mercy to spare his young son in exchange for his own life. Spare the boy, but kill the father. Hmm. Raise the boy as my own. Ooh. The legitimacy is nice, but I like this compassionate. We're going to get some global things that will... Yeah, we're going to spare the boy. All right, cool. Yeah, but there's another Vandals here, so we're going to be able to take them out. But yeah, we just got a huge buff to our training, which is awesome. Super great. And we're just going to keep exploring as we kind of wait out our settler. Ooh. Chief of the Gauls is brought to meet with you. The Belgae, the Manapii, the Sinones, and the Helvetii. Our tribes are numberless. Numberless. Ah, eh, we're mighty. There we go. Because, let's face it, we have so many buffs uh, to work against them that it's just great. And then anytime we have orders that uh, we don't end, we aren't able to do anything with, I, I believe we get a good chunk of change. So we're going to get a good chunk of change, and we're going to be able to work on our next... All right, now scouts... All right, so scouts, uh, they can't attack. So we kind of just need to run away, which is fine. Ooh, two overturned wagons are discovered. They're good scattered across the grass. A Hittite woman and her child and her children weep over a dead body. The survivors claim that a bear attacked them. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do this because this establishes a really good uh, relationship right off the bat. There we go. Well, there's Hattusa. It's actually dangerously close. Uh, that's not fun at all. And then... What we have to do is we have to kill this guy. There we go. Lots of XP, lots of training. And unfortunately, we can't move here. We do need to move here, though. So that way, Hattusa doesn't get, doesn't get it before we do, because that would be terrible. Now, another thing that we could do. We could, uh, anytime that I don't have enough resources, so I don't have enough iron here, I can hold Alt, and I can see it would take 84 buckaroonies for that to happen. Uh, we're not going to do that. I'm going to build another settler instead, and then we're going to build another warrior afterwards uh, because, yeah, that's actually not going to take that terribly long at all. That'll be very well worth it. All right, let's get rolling. The victims of the bear attack are delivered safely to a settlement of their nation, Hati. The village leader thanks our people. Awesome. Queen uh, Peduhipa, the settler of Hati, to aid your citizens plus 20 opinion. Express a desire to cooperate in the future. What is affable? As a governor, as a leader, we get one growth per year per culture level. Oh, okay. Set up a trade. No, we're just going to express a desire to cooperate in the future. There we go. All right. So our boyo here can go there. Now, unfortunately, I really don't want to pump into Valerius too much, even though we get a huge benefit. I guess there's no... These aren't precious resources. Those are... Those aren't even, those are luxury resources. Okay, so we don't want to use them anyways. We are going to rock with, we're going to rock with Claudius because each one of these gets us a specialist, a rural specialist, uh, right? Yeah, farmers, miners, stone cutters, ranchers, trappers, all that stuff. So if we go with Claudius, we will get a reduction time in their production, which would be super useful. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, we'll name it Trig Lab. Yeah, that's totally fine. I don't really have a desire to name these really funky weird things. Uh, and we're going to go and get a worker as well. Five years, that's fine. Five turns. And we'll start working on all those areas. And you'll see that there's a little bit of a buff up against Rome, which is totally fine. Uh, what we need to do next, though. Ooh, the Atticus River. We're going to call this the River Tiber. There we go. Because you can name it if you if you find it first. Okay, well, we're going to send these guys down here. They really need to. We need to go after the Gauls and make sure that they don't get too big. Remember, we're kind of working against the clock here. Because the more that we can do with this, um, the better we'll be off. We'll have a, a great start. All right, the Valerius family has sent representatives from Rome to speak before the court. Make a plea for you to control six quarries or produce 500 stone. Yeah, we'll control six quarries. Yep, that's definitely... So we have ambitions. If we fulfill those ambitions, we get uh, legitimacy as well, which is always good. And it's important to note as well that uh, if we don't get that before he dies, there is the chance that uh, we could do it as a legacy for whoever is on the throne next. Uh, but anyways, we're going to promote. We have more than enough stuff here. Strike would be good. 
yeah, 10%, but this is 10% attack and defense strength, whereas this is just attack strength. So let's go with combat two. And then we're going to do the same thing here. I need to get inside of my own. Okay, cool. We can still do that. So we're going to go with focus, I think. We're going to go with focus because that gives them a critical hit chance. There we go. Awesome. So we have two level two warriors, eight turns in, which is pretty daggone bonkers. We have our scout as well, but I want to focus more on this guy because he has the ability to really buff us up. We're going to go with the quarry here. Again, I don't have enough mine or uh, iron, but I can hold alt and build a quarry there. That's super great. All right. Divination has been discovered, which means we get access to all of those shrines, which is really cool. And then remember, we had a chance to get any of the available text to us. But I also remember that I said if I wanted to get a lumber mill, because that's the only way that we can actually acquire wood on a steady basis. And we have so many forests around us that we just have to do it. Like we have to do it. Like there's no other choice, I feel. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and get down into our area. We're going to heal up before we go after these guys. Not much else to do outside exploration, so we're going to see what we can't do to get up against these gulls and uh, show them who is the boss, because that boss is me. All right. Princess Julia the Affable, our daughter, has proven her good sense and insight. She's gained one wisdom. Great. That increases our science. Uh, however, dishonest and greedy, oligarch Atia the Builder, who's the head of the family of the Claudius family, they are corrupt. Well, that's that's fun. Super duper fun. All right. Hello. Hi. Um, yeah, I'm the problem. It's, it's me. There we go. Oh, very brilliant. Nice. So we got a critical strike there. Super cool. All right. So two hits, those guys were dead. Awesome. I absolutely love it. And then down here, just so you know, we have like different activities that we can do. Nothing too crazy. And honestly, there's not much that I can do here. Don't even think there's anything influence via King Caesar, the ambitious, yeah, we'll influence my wife just to see how that goes. All right, we need to continue working on uh, different ways to gather uh, quarries, but I do need mines as well. So we're going to go and do that so we can actually start actively making that. Uh, it was cute. They attacked me, but uh, it didn't really do much. So hello again. Uh, welcome. There we go. Also love how zoomed in you can get. Super great. Uh, and the next turn, they'll die. No big deal. We've exerted our influence, but appear weak in the process. Ah, we lost one legitimacy. That sucks. Uh, Caesar is you and general of warrior. Okay, uh, we're going to go with courage. That's going to give us some more global uh, military training as well as buff that soldier. Finally have our boyo here. Um, I can't make anything there. However, if we go here and make a farm, we get two growth, five uh, five money because of the landowners and then 16 food per year because of the barley lush and fresh water. That's a really, really good one. We're definitely going to do that. And then we're going to kill off these gulls while searching the ruins of the Gaelic camp. Our units stumble across a magnificent artifact covered in strange markings. They report that when the artifact was rubbed, a fantastic creature appeared and ordered them to leave the sacred ground or face a terrible cur curse. Um, no, we're, we're going to keep the artifact so our scholars can study its magic. That's going to give us a boost towards our um, everything. There we go. Anything out here? Nope. Okay, cool. And we now have to choose production over here in uh, Benonia. Let me see. We don't have enough. I do actually have quite a few citizens. Do we have another city-state area, though? I know we have our city site up here. This is technically a city site, but it's not one that I feel is super beneficial. I feel like I would be doing it well that actually would give me a really good buffer and kind of him uh, the Hittites in. Ah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, be a little bit crazy and start working on a big military. I think that's that's what the Romans would really do. All right. Duchess Fulvia, our daughter, is now old enough to be tutored by courtiers. Princess Julia the Affable and Prince Pompeius the Younger have given birth to a son. All right. So Duke Gaius is now second in line my daughter uh second daughter is now third in line and the royal family of hati visits the court during a, fe a feast princess tudhalia of hati makes a shocking boast about how much better a ruler he will be one day queen puhupiba uh, chides him for his brashness without a doubt okay so this is one of the things that i really love about this uh we can this is the future king of the hati 
So if we say this, it reveals his ignorance. Our opinion, his opinion of us goes down. Yeah, we're going to do it. Forget it. Yeah, we're going to go to war with Hattie in the future, I think. So it, it's good. It's come to the attention that the governor of Rome has had a revelation about her experience as a leader. How should she find more insight? So this is a developing culture event. So we basically have leveled up our culture in Roma. So if we listen closely to political advisors, she gets a boost to money, as well as just Rome gets a boost. We're going to go with uh, science, though. We really have to work on science. And I think we're going to do that with Duchess Fulvia as well, work into philosophy. All right, but more important than that city site down there is the city site up here because of what we can gain. And then in the future, we'll go down and get those. What we need to do is we do need to keep exploring and finding new places because I need to exert my influence elsewhere throughout all the stuff and all the things. And I need to know, ooh, that looks like some coastline mayhaps. And then we can pop on in here. Princess Julia has recently proven her good sense and insight should gain one wisdom. Fantastic. Scientific pursuit seems to intrigue your wife. Oh yeah, we'll open a private, yeah. Private laboratory, why not? You are aghast. You've just attended, as guest of honor, a feast arranged by Princess Julia. The feast itself was fine, but you couldn't help but note the sorry state of the furniture. Easy problem to solve. Oh, yeah. No, that's fine. We'll totally do that. Because that's actually going to be um, useful for our uh, daughter in the future. So, I think this is actually the only... S yep, that is. So, I still get a great deal. That's going to be a great thing for food production. So, we're going to go ahead and do that, but... We already have Claudius and Valerius. We need to get Julius in here, and we need to get Fabius. This is a nice potential. I don't know what else is here, but it looks like there's big mountains. This could be the only pass through into here. So let's go ahead, found the seat of Fabius. There we go. There's some guys there, and I was actually correct. There might be something down here, but that's all right. We ended up getting Militia as well, which is a little strange. Maybe that's just the benefit of being Fabius. That actually works for me. Let's roll up here. I'm just going to do a little bit of exploring with him. And then I'm actually going to heal up my scout. And we're going to keep exploring. Ooh. A haughty barbarian warlord strides into court demanding an audience. She declares the Thracians will permit you to befriend them, but only if you recognize their superiority. Uh, no. Our blades will speak for us. Uh, thank you, but no thank you. Oh, no. I have no... Oh, no. All right. A little bit of a downside, but that's okay. Also, Duchess Flavia can be uh, tutored, but that requires, go figure, orders. Princess Julia have given birth to another son. Oh, my word. Duke Romulus, they're just cranking them out. Fulvia's tutors have come to you, contrite and stammering apologies. Before their morning tutorial, her friends evaded the doddering old men, went down to the city. Fulvia was struck by the poor quality of the instruction. She now believes the standardizing mass education in the city. That's a huge investment. That's fine. She can become disappointed. She's just my second daughter, and she's fourth in line now. That's fine. We're going to get a global boost to uh, production. And I may have slightly bitten off more than I can chew here. Um, <laughs> we're going to heal, because I still get the benefit of attacking adjacent here. That works for me. Is there any way I can speed this up for 190? That's going to be worth it. So we're going to do that for the next year. Duchess Fulvia can be tutored, and we're definitely going to tutor her. We're going to have... Camilla tutor her. I think that uh, may be a dangerous, but also good choice. So we built one of our quarries. We need to continue this. Oh, yeah, that's right. We need to build the mine over here 100%. There we go. Down here, they're finished with that. We could build another one, but I do want to build more quarries. So we're going to, well, okay. So I don't want to use a good spot for a mine. So we need to make sure that we stick to areas where that isn't applied. We don't have enough orders, uh, apparently. Or I don't have enough money. Yeah, I definitely have enough money, and I have enough orders, but uh, apparently that's not going to work. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not disappointed. We're going to go ahead and head back towards that wing, nab that ancient ruin. All right, there we go. I can build the quarry now. That's great and awesome. Uh, we may need to withdraw. Well, no, we. I don't know that we do. It's a bit risky for a biscuit. No, we're going to go ahead and boost his health. We're going to get rid of that guy. And we still have such a huge buff against these dudes. Plus, bringing in my warrior. I think we'll be okay. I think we will be fine. We're going to go ahead and head to that. Our explorers discover the ruin of a sprawling agricultural civilization. 
Raised fields split by shallow canals suggest the ancient inhabitants used controlled flooding, allowing them to thrive during seasons of heavy rainfall. Such a site has much to teach us. Allow scientists to study set sour gum. Well, I'm not going to be over there. Minimize it. Hmm. No, we're just going to untile. What is that? 56? I assume that's what that is, that tile. We're just going to plow the fields and whatever's left. Forget that. If it had been science, it'd be a bit different. All right. Uh, we're going to retreat. There's two of them now, and I, I don't want to deal with that. We're going to go there, and then we're going to get our boils in. Now, the big benefit here is that, I mean, we are just like unbelievably powerful and we're going to overwhelm them very easily. So I'm not concerned there. And of course, as I say that, I actually did end up losing a warrior, like a very, oh, that that's uh, my, my hubris definitely got the better of me. There we go. Pompeius is your son-in-law and the general of the numerous Batavorum. Eckler, we're going to get a shield bearer because that will be very, very beneficial there. Uh, and then, yeah, that actually means that Caesar isn't a general which uh, means we actually didn't get that buff. Uh, so that's very unfortunate. That sucks a lot, actually. Uh, but we can move our other warrior this direction. That would be uh, good for us because we need to uh, we need to kind of split our forces. Taking on the Thracians won't be too difficult anyways. All right, and it looks like we have another tribe of Gauls here. That's fine. That's great. I don't care so much about that. Uh, that's not a huge deal. Oh, boy. Cause for worry. Lately, your wife... Calpurnia has been seen around the city with another member of court. Rumors of a love affair are spreading. What shall we do? Not, okay, so she's not in love with me. Becomes estranged. What's her opinion of me right now? Is 60. He becomes endeared. We'll, we'll do that just to appease her and hope that happy wife, happy life isn't uh, meaning that she's actually cheating on me. <laughs> uh, victory in battles increased the fame of the renowned prince consort Pompeius the Younger. He's become the subject of a popular songs and stories. We should keep an eye on him. That's fine. Uh, I've actually forgot to add Caesar as the general over here. Uh, I should have done it right there. That's okay. We should be good there. No worries. Um, they're actually leaving us alone. So I'm going to head down here because holy Moses, they've got a lot of troops. We're going to keep our guy here. We're going to have him sleep until he gets awoken. And then we have five turns there, three turns there. So we can start really pushing our, our military. The hanging gardens have been completed by Egypt, unfortunately. And the Valerius and Claudius families have been engaged in a heated land dispute. Valeri claim they have an ancestral right. Body deny the claims. Uh, let's see. None of them really like me. Um, Valerius and Claudius. Uh, neither of them. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, do nothing but watch for developments. We're going to do nothing but watch for developments. It's, it's going to get spicy. That's uh that's a given. There we go. Take you guys on, suckers. And then these guys reached out and hit me. But we can promote them instantly. We're going to give it to... Uh, no, we're going to hit first. Yeah, I think that's good. Up here in Antium, let's do... That's a farm that we need, right? Yes, this gives us a, a good deal. More stuff there. That's fine. We do need to continue our farm production 100%. Over here, we can build our quarry. A little bit of help from our friends, the money uh, the money people. And then we are going to... Yeah, I have to start building mines 100%. But I don't have enough orders, so that is what it is. Heal up there. Antium, what do you need to do? We're going to go and build walls. Plus 10 max HP for the city, plus one per year at the family military. Oh yeah, absolutely, we can do that. Boom. The health of the king has taken a serious turn. I am now severely ill. Rip a Roonies. Okay, the slinger is great, and so is the camp. But we have so many ways to use husbandry. I'm surprised it's not telling me to do that. Now, Duchess Fulvia, our daughter, fourth in line, has completed her study of philosophy. Does she become a tactician or a zealot? We're going to do a tactician 100%. All right. One morning, a strange mystic appears on the steps. He meditates with the rising sun, again with the darkening dusk. Later, when you begin coughing blood, this is why I'm here. I'm here to ease your pain. I can heal you, but you must allow me to sit by your throne and advise you. I've been sent for this purpose. Okay, but I'm no longer severely ill. I'm going to risk it. That's, I'm here, okay. Uh, like, I see what you're doing, but I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to be okay with it simply because I don't want to be severely ill anymore. Uh, let's go ahead and move back here. I am going to promote him to combat one. And then we'll be able to take this guy out. Oh, nope. One more turn. That's fine. We're going to promote him again. We're going to do herbalist plus four HP, where it's normally leads to healer. Okay, that's cool. I like that. And maybe the healer. Well, hold on. What is the healer? Plus one HP per year, 300 XP for this unit. Okay, cool. I like it. All right. A few things. Prince Consort is feeling ill. 
Oh no. Oh no. How terrible. Oligarch Servius the Compassionate cannot let go of grievances and is often angry. Oh, okay. Well, you just need to chill out. Mark Antony has tutored Duchess Fulvia, improving her discipline. Great news overall. Uh, why can't I heal? Must be in friendly territory. That's actually a very good point. Um, we are going to retreat. Well, I'm going to use that. In an act of supplication, the surviving Thracian nobles offer you a wealth of jewelry, fineries, and icons representing their culture. As conqueror, you are expected to wear this. Will not be tainted. Prizes are mine. Put the treasures in our coffers. Um, Let's actually get some legitimacy. I don't know that that'd really help. We're going to put them in our coffers. And then you, I'm going to come back home. We are also going to promote him versus melee units. Uh, we don't tend to fight melee units so much. But I do think Blood Thirsty, Thirsty gives us 10% increase versus damage is a really good one. We're going to promote him again. Combat 1. There we go. Awesome. Can't heal. Can't promote. All good. We have yet another warrior, which we're definitely going to use on these front lines. Now what can Roma do? Oh, absolutely. We're going to get some of these specialists. Whew. That's nice. We're going to get a miner as well. He has no more citizens. That's okay. Our happiness level is actually doing great. Right? Yeah, we're doing great. Any more? Nope. We need to be able to... Oh, no, we want to build mines. A mine. Duke Gaius is now old enough to be tutored. Absolutely. He's going to be a tactician. 100%. Unsurprisingly, two of your vassals are squabbling. Valerius and Claudia are spreading vicious rumors. We confronted, confronted the Claudian elders claim to know nothing about such slander. Oh, my word. <laughs> we get oh my word we're gonna go ahead and do this julius caesar he's 56 he doesn't have to deal with this crap that's fine vivius the younger grasps a smoldering bundle of herbs i've been reading the portents they're clear signs and stars you are destined to see the population of rome grow uh yeah well the stars say so totally do that so now we have another ambition oh Pompeius, my son-in-law he's too old but i'm not he's older than me mother of pearl Okay, we're going to choose a new general. What can we do here? This actually gives us the best benefits. I'm not going to put Caesar there. Unit cannot die with greater than 1 HP. 20 per military unit killed. Nice. By the way, that's Soren Johnson, the developer of Old World. He has his own uh, face in there. And I do believe, oh, I can't remember who is um, Layla, who is his wife and who also is part of the team. I actually think most of these starting people are... Uh, team members which is just a fun little tidbit of knowledge there and i get to him and support him so we could use force march to do that oh but oh that doesn't matter never mind that doesn't matter at all uh we are going to promote him we're going to give him what is the difference between infantry and melee we're just going to do combat one that's fine we are going to get him inside he is going to heal up we are going to wait until he has support, and we will heal him up. I can't add a general this turn. That's okay. Can go down to here, a grave circle. A grave circle in trees appears to have belonged to a great tribe. The shaft includes the remains of a ruler, spouse and children, and a retinue of servants. Foreign ruins have captured the imagination of the nobility. I might consider using these recent findings to gain their favor. Uh, yeah, we could totally do that. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's an easy win for us. All right, Julia is the daughter and governor of Rome. We get her to Prosperous, which will give us 20 money more. We're going to go with Intelligent. I need to boost my science as much as possible. News arrives that Epirius the Thracian is dead. King Apropolis now leads the Thracians. And a delegation from Hatti arrives with a marriage proposal for Fulvia. Hmm. Hmm. Wait. Wait a second. Okay, that's just a character. I thought for like a second they were going to give me a freaking city. All right, so this is a tactician. It's general counterattacks during melee. He does, he, he has six wisdom, which means he would have a really big boost. Uh, let's go with uh, Duke. Your courtiers inform me that for better or worse, Duke Gaius is showing signs of taking after his father, Prince Consort Pompeius. Nice, he could be righteous, intolerant, or pious. Became righteous. Very nice. I will take that. He'll make a good king one day. Uh, and Julius Caesar, he is getting up there in age. So we need to be considerate and mindful of that. We're going to heal up. We just need to continually heal. And now that we have our side-by-side -side warriors, 
Uh, I cannot add a general. Oh, that's right. We don't have enough turns. That's fine. Bononia, what are you going to do? You are going to... I don't know that there's actually a good city site anywhere close. That's not bad. We did say we wanted to potentially use this city site to kind of act as a barrier. I'm still mindful of doing that. I don't, I don't think it'd be too bad. We don't have another good space. So I'm actually going to roll with a stone cutter. That's going to give us an increase in stone. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Nope. Because we need our population. And I think that counts as citizens. Some of it's specialists and citizens. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. It would go across either way. We're going to do a farmer and we're going to do a stone cutter. I think we'll be good there. Duke Romulus is old enough to be tutored. And recent events have shaken the confidence of Duchess Fulvia. Oh, come on. Moral training. Gaius' tutors bring worrying news. They say he's indifferent to the martial aspects. Huh. Confirms himself by asking you to host a series of sporting events. Training soldiers. Huh. The pursuit of exercise beyond this application insinuates moral corruption and vanity. No, we're going to force him. That's fine. That's fine. He he doesn't have to like me. Uh, no, this feels wrong. No, we're not going to do that. Time passes quickly. Duke Romulus is growing up fast and is eager to learn. Uh, we will do philosophy. Your adult children, Duchess Fulvia and Princess Julia, recently attended a royal hunt on which Fulvia spotted and stalked an exquisite 14-point stag. Oh, my word. At the last moment, Julia cut in and shot the beast herself. Even having the gall to claim ownership over the trophy. The squabbling siblings confront you. Oh no, Fulvia saw it first. Oh, <laughs> Fulvia's ticked at me. She does not like me. We can totally take this hit. Fulvia did the hard work on the hunt, 100%. Um, chill out, daughter of mine. All right, so the galls have kind of poked out. What we're going to do here is I'm going to add a general. None of those are worthwhile at all. No, none of those guys are good. Okay, fine. And I'll just attack on myself and we'll deal with it. We have some more vandals up here as well. There's a lot of vandals around. We know where we need to go afterwards for sure. And we may end up using this spot as another city site to, again, kind of plug all those holes and really hem our empire in. I think that'd be a good idea. All right, just taking care of barbarians left, right, front, and center. Uh, we want to run away there because I'd rather not have my dude die. Ooh, yeah, the Apennine Mountains. I like that. We'll actually call these the Alps. All right, so we gained two legitimacy. Great, awesome, fantastic. Let's head down here. Brilliant, boom. And then what we're gonna do up here is I'm actually gonna promote this guy again versus a general or from a hill. There's a lot of hills around. I think we'd be okay, but I'm gonna go with combat two instead. We're gonna promote him as well. We're gonna give him combat two for sure. And basically what we're doing is we're just making super soldiers like that's we're kind of uh, leveraging all the things we can uh, as humanly possible to bring that in. I need to work on quarries more than I need to work on anything else. Um, so we need to find areas where lumber isn't going to be beneficial for us, which is going to be right here. I'm going to build a quarry there once we have the turns to do so. And then we need three more. That's all we need. Let's see, I didn't want to make sure that a mine wouldn't be useful there. Not as useful. So we'll build a quarry there as well next turn. And then we don't have pasture yet. We will have it in the next turn. I'm going to go ahead and go to my goats. And we'll rock it from there. Sweet. All right, so we have husbandry discovered. Oh, a grove. Now, I don't think we're near any of... Well, actually, we are near incense. And we are actually near honey as well. We would also get a war elephant. Oh, my word. I think we do actually have elephants somewhere close. And then a camel archer. We for sure have camels. Yeah, that's definitely going to be the way we want to go. Ebony would be awesome, but that's not what we need. We're going to do land consolidation. Recently, you've been thinking about improving relations with Servius the Compassionate, who's the leader of Fabius. Who knows what benefits such a... Uh, Caesar starts ambition. Influence Fabius. Uh, okay, well, he's getting old. And one of the cool things here is we can see that he is actually actively uh, doing that, which is nice. Uh, they progress throughout the whole thing, which is just super cool. There we go. They're done. Uh, I can't move anymore, obviously. Don't want to promote those guys too much. This is a free promotion. I'm going to go ahead and give him the free promotion. We're going to do combat one, and then I'm going to move him in. Hit him. I'm going to promote him again. We're going to do focus this time. Nice. And then we just need to heal these boils up. I do wish they healed. Uh, I guess... Just like naturally. I, w I hate having to spend an order on it. Uh, it is what it be. Another quarry. 
We need to go after those ambitions as quickly as possible. And then over here, we can build our pasture. But of course, all of our really good places for our quarries have other things in them. But we could go here, I suppose, and build a quarry. I really need to get this done before he dies. And I have a feeling he may die pretty soon. As valuable as tutors are in Roman society, it's ultimately the duty of the parents to oversee their child's education. He's quickly mastered everything you've taught him and asked for more. Uh, let's encourage him to spend more time training. Yeah. No, that's great. This is our next king, by the way, so we really need to push it. This year's a special year in the Annals and Kings and Queens of Rome. Caesar the Ambitious celebrates his Silver Jubilee, a reign of 25 years. Oh, nice. How shall we prepare? I shall take another wife. Oh, my word. No, we're going to go with Prepare Royal Spectacle. We have plenty of food, and it gives us uh, growth, city growth, and happiness in Rome, which... Should be really good. Yeah, that's going to be fantastic. That's what we needed. We need to figure out what to do in Antium. Uh, let's go ahead and build another settler. I think that's a really good idea. We can build our quarry. No, we were going to go down here and build a quarry because that gets us the best benefit. Let's adventure. Okay, so we did actually find the sea. Interesting. I like it. Heal up, mon friend. We can go down here. We can take out those guys. We can push into here and start working on those guys as well. And then we should probably go up here and take on those vandals, right? Am I correct in that assumption? I think I am correct. But I don't want to do it alone. So maybe I don't. Maybe I just, uh, we'll go venturing. You've successfully exerted your influence on oligarch Servius. But appear weak in the process. Okay, well, I'm known as the able. That gives me a good buff. I've completed an ambition which gets me, of controlling Tim population, which gets me some lit uh, legitimacy as well. Uh, we actually don't want... Okay, nope, that was a mistake. Come on back. We're going to retreat and recoup. I'm going to join my friend up here. This is a city site, but there's nothing around here that I really want to use. Ooh, we have reports of a tribal raid near Antium. Okay, interesting. Crossing the Rubicon. Your detractors in Rome have grown wary of your ever-growing popularity. The right of their military command is granted by the people. They now demand you immediately disband. Standing down is not an option. As your loyal commanders promise to stand by you, prepare to march on the city and openly defy the rulers of rome we get a free law which is tyranny all cities get eight, eight per year oh per military unit and territory that's interesting okay very nice a series of escalating arguments and uh, invectives has led to an outright feuding at court duchess fulvia oh, she's been troublesome has accused mark antony the zealot of misguiding our armies um bloop, bloop. Oh, she starts plotting against me. Oh, snap. She is really ticked. Find a mutually beneficial solution. There we go. That, that, that works for me. I'm okay with that. So near Antium, eh? I don't, I don't know that that's true. I'm going to kind of call uh, potential BS on that. Can I promote and make a healer? Yeah, we could, but we're going to do that first. Let's just explore up here just a little bit. And then we don't have many other units to do anything with. We're just going to move both of these guys up. Oh. Or we'll just move that guy up once. Okay, cool. Now, production in Roma is going to be a very important thing. We could definitely get some more specialists in. But I really, really think we need to work on, on more of these guys. I don't have a stronghold yet. Because it requires um, four active laws. Lord have mercy. I don't even think we have a single law that we can activate. We have tyranny. Okay. Which is fine. But requires labor force. Yeah, we don't have the tech to be able to choose. So I guess that's kind of the bigger deal that we're doing here. We're focusing more on tech that enhances our cities rather than do other things, which is fine. But it is uh, it does cause some issues. Uh, do we want walls? I think we do because we may go to war with Hati in the next turn or in the next uh, next episode for sure. News arrives that Gelmer the Vandal is dead and a delegation from Hati, Hati is sent to help a minor dispute this brew between your two nations. At dinner, one of their parties speculates on who could beat the gods of wars uh, leading you to a spirited debate. Forward General Karunta the Spoiled. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, no, for sure. He is, uh, well, yeah, no. It's it's foolish to compare mortals and immortals. No, we're going to do this. That's fine. We're kind of setting up the next episode in a way. Duke Romulus has been drawing away stubbornly, refusing to listen to your wisdom. Young Royal's tutor says he's shaping to be a fine tactician. They're worried making choices primarily to rebel against you. That's fine. Nope. We're going to make him a tactician. That's fine. Now that Duke Gaius, who is our grandson, second in line, has completed his study of tactics, how shall he contribute to the court? Hmm, this, oh, this, is, this isn't, uh, he shares that trait. 
So King Senior is a commander. He's also um da -da 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 -da. He also has a special little bonus thing. Uh, no, but this is great. 20% strength if uh, the same unit's adjacent. All right, and a flood. The waters of the river that run through the Roma are normally swift but manageable. Not today. A downpour of rain seen the banks break. Water flooding into the city. Send teams to salvage the destruction. Yeah, we can afford all of that. All right, and one more turn, right? Wait, that's a quarry. That's a quarry. And that's a quarry. I thought we had more quarries <laughs> out there um we're not gonna build a fort yeah we're gonna go and build a quarry there and then what should we do with this boyo we don't have oh, actually we do have a pasture but i think more importantly let's see where another mine would go we if, if we had two mines there we could go here and build the shrine of soul yes absolutely which would give us roman paganism 20 percent for adjacent mines and then bonuses one per year per adjacent lumber mill Okay, but that's still fine. More confident than ever. In the face of danger, your grandsons gain one courage. Nice. All righty. So it looks like they may have actually taken over this area. It's a little bit upsetting. Just kind of hoping to use it. Uh, I should have gone after it a little quicker for sure. That's okay, though. We do have a very, very strong military, though. Uh, while it... Uh, yeah, let's actually do that because I have a feeling... But Hati doesn't really like me. No, they don't. We're going to come down here. We're going to prep for war. That's what we're going to do. Uh, and then, of course, we have barbarians, which I thought I... Oh, those are raiders. Okay, interesting. We got a warrior here. I don't want to spend that because that means I can't do other things. We're going to go there for after. The walls are going to be super beneficial now. Because I do think we are actually going to be going to war. Uh, the Shrine of Soul. Oh, there's a farm here. Son of a biscuit. Yeah, I really don't want to do that. Let's go here. We need to uh, repair. How do I repair? Repair the mine or it'll be destroyed in nine years. I don't know how to repair. There we go. Repair the mine. Brilliant. He's done there. We could just start improving the goats and the things of that nature. Why can't I do that? Let's go up to here. Can I afford 900? I could. Why can't I buy it? And the Royal Library as well. We'll maybe see if we can go after it. Oh, requires culture to be developing. How close are we in Antium? I'm going to say not close at all. Yeah, we're not close at all. Not like whatsoever. We're going to come over to here. And we're going to start that. Duke Romulus has returned from his philosophy studies, but he'd like to retain a tutor. Um, Which shall be the focus of it. Yeah, we're definitely going to push things into, into uh, science. Uh, we're going to do this. No, terms are unacceptable still. That's fine with me. Uh, we're going to go here. Apparently, I can't even build wonders anywhere over here. Uh, we could go after a lumber mill. I think that would probably be beneficial. But I think what we're end up going to do... Did they just buy? Okay, there it is. I think we are just going to start prepping for a war. We're going to come down through here. He doesn't have much health, but that's okay. Uh, we still are okay here. I don't see any big issues. And I think we're going to end it right there. So I don't know why we can't build wonders here. It's just not letting me very strange but anyways that's all right ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for hanging out with me today we are having a blast i am having a blast with this we are doing great overall we have a very very strong military i don't think hatusa or hati is ready for us they are ticked at us but i don't think they're ready for us and we're going to continue expanding and pushing in any and every which way we can so thank you for showing up i hope you appreciate this video you can buy old world now by the way it's been out for forever uh, and I really, really highly recommend you do because there's lots of stuff you can do that make it different from the typical 4X RPG game. Anyways, guys, do all the things you know how to do, including give the video a like, subscribing to the channel, comments in the comment section. This is Havoc, and I'm out of here.